Welcome to Market Fresh Let's Cook. We are making bun cha today. I'm going to show you uh, what are the ingredients that we are using for today's dish. So these are the few uh, condiments that we have. Uh, some lime juice, some sugar, uh, fish sauce, uh, dark soya sauce, vinegar, pepper, all right, and then you can see some chopped uh, shallots over here and uh, minced garlic uh, and then more sugar, more sugar for the marinade. Uh, we need uh, minced pork and we also have a pork belly. All right, over here we also have some cooked cook bihun. For today, I'm using some uh, lettuce, all right, and we also have some uh, minced leaf, sweet base here. Let's marinate the, the meat first. Okay. So two and a half uh, tablespoon of uh, fish sauce. And black soy sauce also, about one tablespoon of uh, black soy sauce. And some pepper. So add this into the marinade. You don't have to marinate it for too long. Okay. So roughly about 10-15 um, minutes. So we are also using pork belly. So same, 300 grams of pork belly. So for the pork belly, I have already uh, pre-marinated uh, with all the seasoning already. Yeah, so same amount of seasoning. So for pork belly, I, I recommend to marinate it overnight. And then also not forgetting, we need a bit of uh, sugar. All right, about one teaspoon of sugar. We also need some uh, chopped garlic and shallots. All right. Some chopped garlic and shallot. So um, about one tablespoon worth of uh, meatball. Okay. Um, try not to make it too big because if it's like uh, too big, huh, then later on, It'll be very hard to to cook yeah because we want to pan fry it and then we want to make it uh, easier to cook later on so make it into meatball okay so what i'm going to do now is to boil a pot of water we're going to do the broth uh, that we're going to eat it together with the grilled meat later on about four four tablespoon of fish sauce white vinegar so this is the white vinegar that I'm going to use, 3 tablespoons and about 4 tablespoons of uh, sugar. Once the sugar is melted already, uh, you can remove from the heat. Uh, let it cool down uh, one side first. And we're going to pan fry the meat patty first. Put some oil. Let's test the frying pan. Alright, this should be enough. Let's put the meat patty down to cook. Yes. So we want a very good chuck, like a bit burn on the surface of the meat, yeah. Once you get very nice chuck like this, um, you can actually remove from the heat. Yeah, so the meat is actually ready. It looks so delicious. Our pork belly. So pork belly has already enough fat, and then I'm using the remaining fats here, so don't have to add on any more oil. Pork belly will take uh, a while to to cook. Yeah. And then when you are frying pork belly, be careful uh, because of the oil, uh, it will actually splatter. Okay, now so the pork belly was, is cooked now, so we can remove it. Okay, so now um, this is cooked already. So the pork belly and the minced pork uh, patty is cooked. Uh, let's set this aside. So now uh, we can actually add in the lime juice into the sauce here. Yeah, mix it together. Mix it to 
together. Alright, and then uh, put this aside. Alright, we will use this uh, later on. Remember, uh, one of our ingredients was actually this uh, white radish. Alright, this is a sliced white radish. And then we have some um, carrot. Okay, so we're going to make a uh, pickled radish. So this will be eaten together uh, with the pork dish. So we're going to add some um, three, 3 teaspoon of sugar. A little bit of salt, yeah. So about one teaspoon of salt. All right. So just rub, rub the salt and sugar. Okay. So the until it melts, yeah. So the reason for rubbing it, so you have to really rub, rub into the vegetables, yeah. Um, the reason for rubbing it like that is because we want to uh pickle it. We want to force out the water content in the vegetable. Yeah, so now you can see, you know, uh, the sugar and the salt somehow or other is combined with the vegetable, and then we can also see that you know, uh, water starts to come out from the vegetable already. Yeah, can you all see? Okay, you see, just now my vegetable was dry, but now you see, you can actually see water from the vegetables, right? Yeah, I transfer it to a container. Like this okay so this one has been picked overnight there's actually a lot of water there's actually water so I'm going to pour out the water so see this is how much water you will get if you put it in the fridge overnight yeah so we don't want this water and next what we're gonna add is we're gonna add some uh, vinegar we're gonna add some vinegar inside here okay so we are using white radish or some of us say is uh, da daikon, okay? Two, three, four. So I'm using about um, about four, four tablespoons worth, okay? Okay, so you can serve this like that and then um, the rest you can actually keep them uh, in the fridge. So we're just going to grab some noodle. All right, this is uh, the bihun. It has been cooked, uh, cooked according uh, to the package. Lah. So you just boil and then uh, after that, uh, rinse it with cold running water to stop it from cooking and then just leave it aside. All right, so we're going to have our noodle. So a little bit of our noodle. Okay, and then uh, our meat. We're going to have some um means pork patty all right and then some of our uh, grilled meat all right and also uh, we have some of this this one remember just now the one that we we picked earlier on yeah uh, okay and then some uh, chili paddy uh, some garlic all right and also vegetables all right we need some vegetables uh, some lime leaf all right crush the lime leaf uh, the sweet base here okay and then we pour over um, the sauce remember we have this sauce Pour it over. Mmm, looks very good. Yeah, so this is actually our buncha. So it's actually a very refreshing dish. So when you before you eat it, right, you just mix mix everything together. Yeah. Like that, just mix everything together, and then let me just try. Yeah, I haven't had this dish for a long time, you know, um, because I'm too lazy to make it. You know, if not for this cooking show, you know, I I probably won't have time to do it. Yeah. 
Mm. Oh my god. The minute I eat it, you know, it really brings me back to Vietnam. I shall see y'all next week again. Thank you for joining me today. So remember to help me like, help me share um, the video so that um, more people will know about our cooking show. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.